Welcome back to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a descendant of a classic cocktail, the lemon drop. Well, this cocktail itself is called a strawberry cranberry lemon drop. Sounds fancy and exciting? Yes, it's going to be fantastic. Now, the original lemon drop was created by Norman J. Hobday, and he had a little place called Henry's Africa, and that was a fern bar, and that was in the Russian Hill neighborhood of San Francisco. Now, it took a while for the original classic lemon drop to gain acceptance, but once it did, it stuck with us for a... <laughs> well, it's still here and it's still popular, so what can I say? It stuck with us. Anyways, this cocktail has changed in a number of different ways. And in the 80s, when that cool cat Dick Bradsell came along and said, hey, let's put fresh fruit and fresh fruit juice into our cocktail, and things started to change, that's when the idea of something like this came along. So let's get into it. All right, so this is an easy, simple shaken cocktail. Now it only contains four ingredients and that's fantastic. But before we get started making the cocktail, what we are going to do is prep our glass. So grab your lemon, which we're gonna use for lemon juice anyways. We're gonna cut it in half. And what we're going to do is take our martini glass and we're only going to rim half of this in sugar, like so. Perfect. Put that off to the side like so, we're done with this. Now, what you wanna do is grab your squeezer and what we'll do is we will squeeze out one ounce or 30 milliliters of lemon juice all right gorgeous now the next thing we need is a strawberry puree and i'm using a homemade strawberry puree now i prefer for my puree to be all natural fruit however you can go find the recipe that you want i just prefer the natural fruit and the natural sugars that come out from the strawberry itself and we're going to use two full bar spoons which is about uh, 10 to 20 uh, milliliters oh yeah oh that stuff is awesome anyways after this what we need is some vodka and i'm using some crazy monkey vodka from toronto which is another local distillery to me and you just can't go wrong with using local so what we're going to do is add an ounce and a half or 45 milliliter. Awesome. Now, the next thing we need is some cranberry juice. However, I have a cranberry cocktail, which is slightly sweetened cranberry juice. And the only way they do that is adding a little bit of sugar. Some cranberry cocktails will have apple juice in it. So you have to pay attention to what you're getting. But cranberry juice itself, although naturally heart has its own sweetness it's fantastic so what we're going to do is we're going to add three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters all right this is going to be good you can tell already just from the ingredients however quick history note for you if you have no idea what a fern bar was a fern bar was a preppy bar for an upscale singles bar just so you know anyways what we do need now is some ice and what we are going to do is we are going to shake this for a good 10 to 15 seconds. So make sure you've got a really good seat on there. Give it a flip and shake it with a smile. Yeah. Pop that open with the strength of a thousand strawberries, just like so. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to put it into our nice, fancy little martini glass here. But, we are going to fine strain it because we want to make sure we get out any uh, strawberry pulp or chips of ice. And again, totally up to you if you want, but it'll just give you a nice clean presentation, like so. Now, that is going to take a little bit to strain just because of the pulp and the ice chips and the seeds because it's going to actually fill up the inside of your uh, little notches inside your filter. However, what we're going to do now is we're going to grab a lemon and we're going to cut one wedge and we're going to just stick that on the outside just like so and this is a perfect strawberry cranberry lemon drop beautiful elegant clean and crisp look at that color wow give it a bit of a smell now you don't get much off the top you get subtle hints of cranberry, lemon, and strawberry. Absolutely gorgeous, but you don't get an overwhelming sense of vodka at all. Oh, that is so good. It is tart, but just sweet enough. 
the lemon, the cranberry, the strawberries there. The vodka doesn't come through at all. It is not overwhelming. It is an easy drinking cocktail that, oh, perfect for dessert. Perfect for any time of the day, really. So long as it's 12 o'clock someplace. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna put the ingredients and the method of how to make this down in the description down below for you. And if you think I should do anything differently with this, please leave a comment below. Now, if this is your first time on my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell notification so you'll be notified every time I put up a new video. And if you're interested, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on rocks because every little bit helps us to bring these videos to you. You have a fantastic day.